All right, good morning, YouTube. I want to do a quick video here of uh, my uh, mobile HF installation here. Uh, I've got a picture here. You see, this is a Yaesu ATAS 120A uh, screwdriver antenna that's tunable on the whole HF band uh, from about 10 meters through uh, 40 meters. And then over here uh, is my VHF antenna. It's uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeter antennas. That one I got mag mounted. This one here, I'll, I'll throw some pictures in. But I've got it all ground bonded and everything. I welded up this uh, bracket. Uh, it's one by two inch uh, square tubing, and so one and a half inch angle iron welded on. And then this is just a standard mount trunk lid mount that's screwed onto here. But anyway, you can see I got that one and a half inch braid uh, with a good ground here going down to the chassis. I'll throw some pictures in of all that. But this is the antenna. I want to show you that on the outside. Let me take you around inside here and show you what's going on inside here. So I have had to uh, ground the chassis of the truck and a few things, uh, just because, <clears throat> I'm make that noise. Okay, I'm inside the pickup here, just real quick. Not the, uh, this is my uh, FGM 200, sets under the hat here. And uh, anyway, I use that for two meters, 70 centimeters. Down here, you can see, I actually got a little hot spot that works with my cell phone. So I can use C4 FM uh, as well when I'm driving uh, on this radio here, which is C4 I'm capable. Uh, here's my uh, Zygu G60, which I mounted. I'll throw some pictures in of how I mounted this thing, uh, but this is just the head unit. And then I've got a, an external amplified speaker sitting up here. Uh, let me see if anything's going on on 20 meters this morning here. It's been pretty quiet out here. Oh, there comes a the signal. There you go. So that's 20, 20 uh, meters, uh, and I can, obviously I can tune in the other ones as well. But this just sets up in here. Um, this is a little uh, tray that I had when I reworked this dash. Uh, this was an XL dash, and then I, it had all the controls here. I moved these up and uh, created a hole there, and I put in the double din radio. But in any case, nice uh, 20 meter signal coming in here. Uh, down here is my, uh, this is what I tune the ATAS with. Uh, if you can see it down here. This is an MFJ 1925. I got it upside down here. That's up and that's down. It's kind of fixed right onto this down here. I've got a little another 90 degree coaxial adapter coming so I can run this in here. But uh, 12 volts all goes in here. And uh, I'll show you the uh, if I can get this up. The radio sets in here. And this is the radio down there. You can see the ground bonding and all the controls. So uh, that's where it sets down in there. And. Uh, Yep, so that's the mount. And uh, like I said, uh, I got the, the mic sits right on this hook. And this is the mic for the 2 meter radio. Well, this is a Zygu G90 uh, mount. Now, I've got this, uh, so I can also use uh, 11 meters if I need to on the antenna tube. To that. I, I use that for when I'm driving just to monitor. Uh, monitor the uh, CB channels. It's nice when you're traveling. But other than that, I can do POTA with this. I just drive up and turn it on. Uh, very nice. So I'm probably doing a few activations with this. But again, this is my uh, Zygu G90 mounted with a Yesu ATAS 120A antenna and an MFJ 1925 controller. And I'll throw pictures of all the ground bonding in there uh, and such. Also got in the same capability, my uh, FTM 200 with uh, APRS and C4M. C4FM capabilities in the truck. So, anyways, a little bit of a 20 meter signal coming in this morning. I'm going to say goodbye and end this video here. Just wanted to show you the mobile installation. Again, I'll have some photos in there of uh, how I did a few things. Take care. Please like and subscribe.